Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to uh, show you and recreate a project I did in a workshop recently with some of my ladies. Um, we put together this, this lovely little card and uh, the only thing that we changed actually was we took off the blue and we, we made this section here pink pirouette, the same as the butterfly, which is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really quite quick and simple. And I've got a, I prepared everything for them so that everybody wasn't trying to fight over trimmers and stuff. So I'll move the envelope to one side. Um, this is the card. It's a piece of A4 Whisper White cardstock, which is that size. Cut down in half to A5 and fold it over. And this is a standard A6 card. Um, I've put the leading edge on it as well. I don't know if you've ever noticed when you've bought a card in a shop, you can fold it over quite easily. That's because it's there's what's called a leading edge. I don't know if you can see it. Just it it comes over ever so slightly further and that is your front it means that you can open the card easily but I'll put that to one side um, and we're going to have a mat on it which is this this back layer here I'm a firm believer that um, if you're a new stamper and I am a new stamper I've only been stamping for for six weeks or so if that um, that if you're a new stamper don't stand straight onto the card, you might get it wrong, like I have done. If you do it onto a mat, if you get it wrong, you just turn it over. But actually, we're not even going to be matting direct anyway. So, I've got a piece of Twitter painted designer series paper, um, and it measures um, 8.5 by 8 centimetres, and it just sits at the top, just like that, and I'm just going to put it on with snail because snail is strong enough that it doesn't need, you know, you, you don't need to worry about, don't need to worry about thick, heavy adhesives or anything because it is a card. So straight over the top, piece of Whisper White Organza ribbon. I love this. It's, it's you've got the, the detailing down the middle and then you've got these sort of lovely shimmery uh, translucent organza edges. So again, with the snail, straight down the middle on the bit that is, um, patterned or rather that, that you can't see through over the front of the card to kind of hide the join and just flip it round the back so that's that section done then obviously I have my butterfly over here and I've got the ever so beautiful Papillon Potpourri set which I think is gorgeous and I've got this in a wood mounted set and I'm going to use this flat, this butterfly here. I think she's absolutely beautiful. On some whisper white cardstock and with the pink pirouette, and that's the pink that's in the background here. So I'm just going to ink it up. And then make sure you get your butterfly the right way around because we're gonna punch it out. Don't stick her upside down at the top. Pop her at the bottom, straight down and straight up. That's the way to stamp, don't rock it. I've learned that one quite quickly because you end up smudging. So you can see why I wanted it at the bottom. If I'd popped her at the top, she'd be upside down and I wouldn't be able to get her out. So I'm lining her up with the, this is the Elegant Butterfly Punch. And out she pops. And I've got my bone folder here and this is the same principle as when you're trying to curl ribbon. I just want to make her wings stick out a little bit. And then with a little edge, a I want a tiny little bit of um, the dimensionals. I only want a little, little section to pop on the back, just so she flies up a little bit, up in the corner. And then my sentiment is from the Teeny Tiny Wishes set which um, has got all the sentiments. I've talked about this before. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to, actually I'm going to stick with friend to friend, which is the, the one that's on my sample over here. And we've got a clear acrylic block. And back into the pink pirouette. Make sure that's well inked up round at the bottom and again so that you can punch it out and I'm using the word window now and then with the modern label punch out the background layer them all up 
you can see I've sponged the edges there. I haven't got a sponge to hand, so I'm not going to sponge these edges. Um, but on, again, some edges with the, the dimensionals, just to lift it up a little bit. You never want to waste anything. All those edges are brilliant for this. Onto the pink background. I'm trying to line this up at an angle I can't see out. There we go, sort of. And then I want some bigger ones for the these edges here. Oops, all fingers and thumbs today. Onto the bottom, and then I'm going to mount all of this actually onto the cardstock. And you could do it with you could do it with the dimensionals. I'm just going to pop it on with some snail. straight onto the card and there is a slight overlap that I've measured up. There we go. So that's the front of the card. Quick and simple and easy. I like the butterfly stamp so why not stamp the inside of the card? Very pretty. And maybe the envelope too. This is how the ladies decided they were going to do it the other day straight onto the back. Very, very pretty, very quick, very easy to do and just delightful. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to know how to get hold of any of the, the products that I've used in this project, let me know. And if you'd like to see this put together as a kit that you could buy, let me know that as well. Anyway, thank you very much. Bye.